Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Sahil Mahajan, and today's video we're gonna be taking a look into Amazon Neptune. So let's dive right into today's video. So let's firstly talk about what is Amazon Neptune. It is a fully managed serverless graph database. So if you're looking to deploy a graph database or you're looking to migrate your graph database to the cloud, then you would go forward with Amazon Neptune. It is highly scalable. It supports read, replic read replicas. So up to 15 read replicas is supported by Amazon Neptune. It also supports replication across multiple availability zones, which in return provides you high availability. And some use cases where we normally use graph databases are in social networks. So, you know, you have your social media platforms, that's where you would see graph database being used or also in fraud detection wherein you're trying to uh, find different fraud patterns. That's where, uh, that's another use case of using a graph database. So this was a very small overview related to, um, you know, uh, what Amazon Neptune is. And let's now quickly dive into a demo related to how can you create a graph database on the AWS console. Okay, guys, as you can see, I am here on the AWS console and I'm on the Amazon Neptune um, dashboard. So this is the dashboard for Amazon Neptune. Um, let's quickly go ahead and create a Neptune database cluster. So we're going to click on launch Amazon Neptune. And again, guys, um, I wouldn't um, you may be charged for creating this resource. So if you're not willing to pay some amount of money, then please do just watch this video. As you can see, it just gives you a very, um, you know, a uh, slight definition that, you know, Amazon Neptune is a fast, reliable graph database and all of that. That's pretty good. You have two options. Um, of course, you can go with the provisioned or the serverless one, whatever you guys like. Again, serverless is something that people are moving to nowadays. Then you also have your engine version, which engine version would you like to choose? You have your templates. Are you creating a production graph database or are you looking to create something more for development and testing purposes? I'm going to quickly go ahead and choose development and testing. Again, you can give whatever name and instant the cluster name that you would like and any specific instance name that you would like. I again, again, I'm going to leave this to the default. Um, just like we had for um, the document DB, you can also choose your storage configuration. Do you want to go with a standard or do you want to go with IO optimized? I'm basically going to stick with the standard. Um, we don't need any optimization for our um, graph database at this point in time. You can choose your capacity, uh, capacity selection. So you have your minimum Neptune capacity units and you can also choose the maximum NC use um, again you uh, I'm gonna leave it at the default settings right now but this setting really comes into play it all depends how many times are you looking to read and write from your graph database so that's how these settings would be um, you know set then you have your availability and durability um, do you want to um, create read replicas in different availability zones. Again, I do not want to because of course, the more places your database is deployed, the more you are going to be charged for it. And you have your network and security, your VPC, your subnet, you can choose an existing uh, security group or you can create a new one. Again, it's gonna, I'm just gonna stick with the default uh, security group that we have. You have any tags that you would like. Um, another uh, good thing about um, Neptune is that you can also create a Jupyter notebook with your Neptune database. So the reason why you would want to create a Jupyter notebook is so that you can easily query your Neptune database. And again, the Jupyter notebook is hosted in a different service that is called SageMaker. It's an a AI ML service provided by um, AWS. We have not dived into it yet, but that's where basically this notebook is going to be created. And of course you can give all the settings. Now for this use case, we do not want to create a notebook. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable that. You do have some additional parameters that you can choose. Um, um, do you want to authenticate your DB through IAM or to not through IAM, you can choose that. And 
do you also want to copy your tags when you take a snapshot of your um, Neptune database. So we can quickly go ahead and click on create and hopefully if all of the settings are correct, there you go. You can see that our um, Neptune database is being created and you can also see we get two endpoints to communicate with our um, graph database through our applications and you can also see the type one is writer and one is reader. And this will take a couple of minutes for it to be created. So that's pretty much it about how you can create a graph database on the AWS cloud. So I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, do subscribe and do comment if there are any other topics out there that you guys would like me to cover. I hope you guys have a great day ahead. See ya. Take care. Bye-bye.